All right, Mr. Zappone here, and we're going to solve a torque problem. Um, so let's just read the problem. I do encourage you as you read this problem, pause this, uh, start listing your variables, try to draw a picture on your own. I'm going to put the picture on after we read this together, but you may need to read this problem and digest it a little bit slower. So Fred weighs 1,200 newtons. Barney weighs 900 newtons. They are on opposite ends of a seesaw board that is only 4 meters long. Where would the fulcrum need to be so that they balance perfectly? Assume the board is weightless, and before answering, will the fulcrum need to be closer to Fred or Barney? So we have a board that's 4 meters long. Um, Fred's on one side, he's 1,200 newtons. Barney's on the other, he's 900. Now, normally, you see saw is balanced directly in the middle. Um, we're not going to balance this directly in the middle, because if we put the pivot point right in the middle, if we put the fulcrum, the thing that the seesaw is going to balance on, we know that it would tilt more towards Fred because Fred is heavier and he's going to generate more torque. So I hope you realize that in order to, for Barney to generate more torque, Barney needs to be further away from the axis of rotation. Um, if we put the fulcrum over here, now Barney's weight is going to be acting over a larger distance. Barney's going to get more torque. So if we put the fulcrum closer to Fred, even though Barney weighs less, he's further from the point around which it's going to rotate, so he's going to generate more torque. So keep that in mind. That's the answer to that last part of the question first. Um, and we are going to use this formula of torque on the left equaling torque on the right. And that is the main equation we're working with right now. Um, so the fulcrum must be closer to Fred, so Barney generates more torque, counteracting Fred's extra robustness. Mr. Zappone is very robust too, so he's not making fun. Um, we know that force times distance on the left equals force times distance on the right, radial distance. Um, but we don't know either distance. We have two unknowns right now. Um, so we're going to call Fred's distance from the fulcrum X. We are going to call Barney's distance from the fulcrum Y. Um, so right now we know 1,200 times X, the torque on the left, must equal... 900 times y, the torque on the right. The problem is we have two unknowns and we can't possibly solve that. But our way around this is to do a little bit of algebra. We do know that the whole board is 4 meters long. So we know that x plus y must equal 4. Look at the bottom. This distance is x. This distance right here is y. But we know that the whole board, x plus y, which is the whole board, is equal to 4. Since x plus y equals 4, we could solve this for y. We could say that y, if you bring the x over, y equals 4 minus x. Now we're left with an unknown if we sub 4 minus x in over here. Um, so that y is going to become 4 minus x because it's the same thing. Now we only have one unknown and we can solve this equation. Force times distance on the left equals force times distance on the right. We know that we have 1,200 times x, and that's going to equal 900 times 4 minus x. So the main trick of this problem is defining Barney's distance as y from Fulcrum and Fred's, and then basically coming up with a little equation that we can substitute back in to get rid of one unknown. Once we get here, this should be straightforward. You should be able to solve this problem. Um, we end up with 1200x equals 3600 minus 900x. And then basically you solve this equation for x. And as it turns out, x is 1.71 meters. I'm not even going to finish solving this problem out for you. 1200x equals 3600x minus 900x. Rearrange that and solve it. Fred ends up being 1.71 away. That means Barney is the difference from 4. The whole thing is 4. If Fred is 1.7, then Barney is going to be 2.3 or 2.29. You just do a little subtraction to figure that out. All right, so that's how you solve this problem. And the next problem, we are going to account for the weight of the board. Um, the board itself, um, it has a center of mass in the middle of the board, but at the board, its center of mass is on the right-hand side of the fulcrum at center of mass. So this board is also going to generate torque. So in reality, we would have two things on the right side generating torque, and we're going to talk about that in the next uh, problem. But for now, just keep this in mind, x y, x plus y equals the total length of the board, and you're able to just use force times distance on the left equals force times distance on the right. Uh, good luck with your homework problem.